What's up guys? We have got a live today with a amazing and amazing lady called Tanya Coley. Tanya is going to join us any minute. Um, she is an author and a personal development coach and she is joining us right now. Magic of the internet. Here she is. Okay, so, oh, no, there, we go. there she is. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, Helen, how are you? I am good too. It's finally sunny. It's been raining all finally. day. Finally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, finally Same actually. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, so let's talk, let's start talking about, so, personal development, you're a personal development coach. Let's start with that and then let's move on to some mindset and author work. Right. So my story all begins uh, growing up as a child, always told I'd amount to nothing. So uh, that was a great start. And then um, I became a lecturer and I did that for 15 years. And then in 2018, I decided to write my story and then I retrained as a personal development coach and then quit my job. So Amazing. here we are today, two years later. Um, yeah, personal development coach. And I've just set up a mind uh, mastermind membership. I'm wearing my T-shirt. Amazing. Love it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we look at our mindsets, look at our goal, setting goals and taking action. Because with my first book, Open Doors, um, I wrote that in six weeks. Oh my God. Six weeks. Six That's insane. Weeks. You must yeah. have been just glued to your computer. Well, I actually, I, I wasn't. What you happened was I was still, flow. I was just in a flow. So I, um, I was still lecturing at the time. So I decided to establish myself a routine. So this is what I teach my clients is about the steps that I took and how I wrote my book in six weeks. I will also teach you those steps. It was about structure and being disciplined. And that's what and I did. I guess and as well about the content. So you obviously had content that was very like natural to write as well. Yeah. It's because it's all about me, my journey yeah. and the pain points. So mm -hmm. some of it I had to recollect and ask my mom about. But um, yeah. So it was all about me and going through a journey. And then really the emphasis of the book is you too can also overcome whatever situation that you face. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. And and I think the reason that we started talking or the reason that you caught my attention was because you were talking about sort of like, I think it was your, your bad relationship with your dad. Um, yeah, and yeah. that's kind of my pain point as well. And it's like, and <laughs> so I immediately just thought, I have to talk to this woman. She's, she's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me yeah. talk to her, <laughs> you know? So like that's a, and I think a lot of people have such like strained relationships with their parents yeah a parent let's say um yeah. and i think it's it's something that needs addressing i'm i'm just starting to try and address it now and i'm yeah. 33 and it's like i've addressed it in a very minor way in the in my 20s yeah, yeah. and it's like yeah. okay i've addressed it for one second and now i'm gonna give myself a year's reward and, <laughs> and not think about it for a year and then i'm gonna do like one more minute after that and then i'm not gonna think about it for a year again and it's like yeah that's not really gonna help <laughs> no it's not gonna um, help it's not <laughs> so that was like but, me yeah uh, yeah it's, it's, it's growing not. up Mine doesn't have a happy ending. It's still, don't, it's still not in my life, but that's just the way. But I've um, gone through a journey of healing. And then through that process, I've found my true worth, my identity. And I'm here today. So, yeah, we can exactly. overcome. But it's how exactly. we view the situation, isn't it? No, mm. it is. And I think, well, from, from my perspective, um, certainly, when I think about my dad, I, I, there's obviously there's some really happy times that we've shared, but there's also so many unhappy times and there's so much like pain and anxiety attached to the thoughts of him, you know? So mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. like, you've got those two kind of sides, like fighting and I mean, the pain and anxiety ones by a thousand percent takes over, yeah. but yeah. Um, you know, there, there is still 
it's it is still family and you know there is still there has still been occasional good times and you know you don't want to forget the good times and just totally focus on forgetting mm. that person but at the same time you know that well actually the the few the few good times they're not going to take over the bad times because that's yeah it's gonna happen you know like let's be real the amount of good times versus the amount of bad times it's it's literally not possible so yeah yeah, it's it's so you have had good times I've never had my dad in my life so my slightly different story so when I was about 12 my mom said to me do you want to know you who your dad is so I was like okay let me meet him so I you know I wrote it in my book and we met him a few times and it it is his character that I didn't like. Right. And, I, and he wasn't a very nice person. And I felt that he had a lot of anger. Right. My mum was only 16 at the time. Bless and uh, he wanted to be with her. She didn't want. And all sorts of stuff happened. And I felt that he was carrying a lot of things. So mm-hmm. I said to my mum, do you know what, mum? This guy, do I have to continue seeing him? She asked me why. I told him. And she said, that's your choice. I've yes. always wanted you to make your own decision. Yes. So, Yeah. That, and, and what an amazing mum you've got like you know that's incredible like that's yes, she's I mean, amazing yeah the fact that she gave you that choice as well because there's obviously a lot of parents that don't you know yeah and the fact mm. that she gave you that choice like what an amazing woman <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, I, know, awesome. I don't know if I could do that you know yeah but, exactly yeah. like that's she made I mean, the right paid, choice yeah yeah mm. absolutely I mean it paid off but man yeah. like She's, she's brave, you know, to, to even yeah. just have the allowance to be able to let herself do that. Like, what an incredible yeah. thing to be able to mm. do, you know. Um, yeah. So we've briefly touched on the fact that you are an author. Um, I think you said you've written two books, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what was the other one? Remind so me. my second book is uh, The Simple Way to Get Motivated. I love that it's, it's there. It's a Excellent. 365 motivational book. So you just read a verse every day okay. to mot- motivate yourself, inspire you, to help you with your mindset, and especially through the lockdown. Because I was yeah. umming and ahhing, should I release it, should I not? And my husband encouraged me saying, you know, through the lockdown, people's mindset yeah. released. I just said, all right, let's do it. So I just released it. it. Yeah, I love that. That's yeah. it. Oh, and amazing also, love the fact that your uh, husband's so supportive because that's another thing is that, like, it, it's so difficult to get things like this done without a support network. And that's something I focus on is support network um, in, my, in yeah. my work. And it's so hard to get people that are genuinely supportive of you and genuine, genuinely want you to progress and grow. Um, yes. Because there's a lot of people with, like, so, should we say an ulterior motive? You know, um, yeah, having that support network is very, very vital. Um, hi, is that D, D Harvey Wrights is has joined us, so uh, welcome. Um, so yeah, <laughs> having that support network is very, very vital because yeah. it's that your that's your go to that's that can support you to help you to grow, develop with no ulterior motive, it's just yeah. supporting you because they see the yeah. potential in you. Because half the yeah. time I'm just like, oh, I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah. Most of like, oh, come on. You just on do it. your own skill, don't you? You're always like, yeah. am I actually good at this? Or do people just, yeah. like, people just like, you know, screwing with me and telling me that I'm good at something that I'm not actually good at? It's like, <laughs> you know. it's to do that mindset again, oh, yeah. isn't it? Oh, totally. <laughs> Self sabotaging. You know, I've talked oh. myself out of so many things. It's unbelievable. Terrible. <laughs> Sometimes that's a good thing, and mostly it's not. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, oh, I'm so glad I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. I've made a lot of fall out of myself. Yeah. <laughs> but most of the time, I think just do it and deal with the consequences yeah. later, even if it was a bad idea. Yeah. At least you make the decision. I always talk about uh, feel the fear and do it anyway. Just do it. Yeah. That's one of my favorite you know? uh, yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, so, talking about mindset. So, have you got any? So, people will. There's not that many people on live right now, but I'll save it and post it out so people can rewatch mm-hmm. it. Because obviously, like maybe it's not a good time for people to watch. Um, so, have you got any top tips for people for their mindset? Um, and you know, like things mm. that you you say, I couldn't live without doing this. Mindset work. Wow. I think I could just write a book on, on, on tools. 
<laughs> that's <laughs> really even cool as why not <laughs> why not um i've just done a um mastermind uh, 30 day challenge in the month of june so yeah. every day they had a challenge and a reflection and that apparently was very powerful for people um so one of the tips we've kicked off with structure and routine right yeah. establish yourself a routine no longer are we going to be rolling out of bed when we feel like it. No longer di our emotions dictating to us when we do things, and when we don't do things. Let's shake ourselves off, right? And let's just do it. Let's establish a routine. And I think that's very, very important because even Number when you one. don't feel like it, yeah. it doesn't matter about your feelings, your emotions, yeah. okay? You've just got to just do it. just got to get up. And then things start to go into motion. So especially in the lockdown, you know, I'm locked in my house for like three months with my husband and my two children. Okay. I'm like, ah! <laughs> well, no one's killed each other yet. So we're winning. <laughs> <laughs> but I always say it's how you choose to respond to the situation. So Definitely. the first thing's for the structure and routine. That's very, very key. Okay. Yeah. And then plan out your day. What is it that you're going to do? That's so important because we can oftentimes just roll into a day and then at the end of it, we haven't really accomplished much. What have I actually done today? Like, yeah. who knows? Like, <laughs> I don't actually know. I'm like, I, I'm all about lists. I have a list every day. So in the morning, well, the, the night before I write my list and then throughout the next day, I'll be ticking it off in a different colour. Always ticking yeah. it off. <laughs> it's got to be in a different colour. <laughs> We like lists and we like ticking things off because it's a yeah. sense of accomplishment and achievement. And that's, that's really, really important. So we also mentioned about having that support network around yeah. you. That's key. That's another tip that you need to have is having yeah. that support is so vital. And then also um, having a coach. Some people think, oh, no, I'd never have a coach. Oh, I don't need the support. That's mm -hmm. pride right there. You need to kill yeah. that. Be because good. sometimes you need that support. Yeah. That's that mm -hmm. person to hold your hand. For example, I have a writer in my uh, membership group. And when she came, she said, this is at the 1st of June she came and she said she's been trying to write her book for two and a half years. She's joined the group. Four weeks later, her book's nearly finished. And that's, that's because of structure, routine, having me as a coach to support her. And also a great question I'd like to ask people. Yeah. Who's in your circle? Yes. Yes. That's exactly it. I actually got asked that like about three days ago and I took so long to answer the question and I was like, this should not take me this long. And you know, <laughs> like it shouldn't take me this long to know who my circle is because I'm like, well, I'm friends with everyone. But it's like, no, but everyone, everyone isn't your circle. You know, it's exactly like in your little circle. Who is, yes. Cause that's going to be your support. So hi to Alex and to the others that have just joined. Um, someone from my mastermind group has just joined um, yeah. and she's all the way from Alabama. Yeah, so, uh, well, nice to Alabama. Alabama. You. I'm from Alabama. <laughs> yeah, I can't speak. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll let you do so the talk. Thank you for, yeah, thank you for joining, Delphine. Absolutely amazing woman. She's also writing her third book, which is I just seem to attract authors. I don't know what it is, but I just seem to attract authors. Good. And they're writing their book, wanting that. She said she's from USA, okay, USA, Alabama. So it's great just to um, have that support network. And it is checking who is in your circle because not everybody who's in your circle is for you or supporting you. Because yeah, sometimes exactly, yeah. the jealousy can yeah. kick in. It's that ulterior motive, isn't it? Yeah, I've, I've definitely, yeah. I've, I've been, uh, I mean, I've been in a bad place with that. And, you know, I've mm. seen it. I've seen it on my end and I've seen it on other people. So, so other people happening to other people and thinking that's not okay. And it's just, you know, when you see it happening and you're yeah. outside the situation, it's like, well, I don't know if I should say something, but if it was me, I would want to know because you know, that's an honest thing to say. So I guess yeah. like looking out for people and seeing who you can trust is a big part of finding out who's in your circle and who's in your network. Um, yeah, yeah, it's super yeah. important. Yeah, definitely. That is very, very important. That's a very big thing. And also, another key is about mm -hmm. that positive affirmations. Yeah, and that's what my second book's about. It's, your, it's about training your mindset because 
old thinking, old results. So yeah. it's trying to have that paradigm shift, shift your thinking and start thinking in a new way so you can have new results. And yeah. sometimes it's as simple as that. That's why my book is called The Simple Way to Get Motivated because it is that yeah. simple. Brilliant. Because we get in the way. We yeah. get in the way of ourselves. You get in your own mind, don't you? Especially when you spend yeah. so much time on your own as well. Like, um, I find I, a, a lot of the people I work with are self-employed or they work yeah. alone a lot. And even, I mean, everyone is now working alone because everyone's working from home. But, you know, even outside of uh, the lockdown, they're working alone anyway for the majority of the time. So they get inside their own head and, you know, spending too much time thinking um, about the wrong things. And I'm yeah. just thinking itself is a good thing. It's just what we think about is sometimes not so good. Um, but, yeah. you know, you end up winding yourself up and making the situation into a bigger situation than what it actually is. Um, yeah. And, mm. yeah, my um, my sports coach, um, so he's a psycho psychologist, sports psychologist, and he, uh, he always uses the example of a car pulling out in front of you. Um, which I really like. Mm -hmm. So car pulls out in front of you and you make up a story as to why that's happened. Oh, they must be a terrible person. They're a terrible driver. Yeah. And all that's really happened is they've had a bad day. Yeah. And you build it up into your mind of this massive big deal. And it's like, it's not a big deal. They just had a bad yeah. day and they probably didn't even like, they didn't look maybe, or, you know, like yeah. well, they looked and they didn't see you till the last minute and they didn't mean to, but, it's a bit late now because it's done and there's nothing you can do about it. And you just deal with it, yeah. and hold back a little bit and give them some space and everything's going to be okay. But <laughs> yeah. in reality, yeah. you're like, that's it. I'm going to tailgate them. I mean, yeah. I'm not <laughs> that, but that's probably what people do. I'm going to tailgate yeah. them. And, oh, what, uh, what a horrible person. How dare they do that to me? And it's like, actually just chill. It's fine. You don't need to. Think yeah, that. exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, another tip. Mm -hmm. which I think is so key, is to celebrate your wins. Yes, I love that one. Yes. Oftentimes, what we do is we move on to the next thing and the next thing and yep. the next thing. We never stop and pause and reflect. Yeah. So my, I, I threw it out there on um, Instagram and someone said they do celebrate their wins, but what they realized was that they kept... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wouldn't advocate um, doing treats like that. Maybe something different. Give yourself a pat on yeah. the back. Give yourself a high five. Something different. Uh, have a nice soak in the bath. Something yeah, slightly definitely. different. But yeah. Yeah. Celebrate your wins is so important. And to reflect like, on what you've done. Like telling someone. I think um, a lot of it is just telling someone that you care about their opinion, that you've achieved something. And let and share it with them like sometimes yeah. to me that's as much as I need you know I don't need any reward or anything I just want to mm. oh I just did something really cool I want to tell someone that I care about or that cares about me and we share the win us like you know between us and then it's like yeah well that's enough that's all I really need you know just to share <laughs> it and yeah. yeah yeah sometimes that's all you need so um I mean yeah. and, and that's not gonna you know make you fat so <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's a winner. No. <laughs> it's like, why are, you t why are you talking so much? I don't want to put any weight on. What? Yeah. <laughs> like, that makes sense in yeah. my head, okay? <laughs> and um, and the, that leads on to helping others yeah. because that's very important because it's not just about ourselves, what I can do, what, you know, feed me, feed. It's also reaching out to other people. What do they need? What support do they have, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Someone just put, I love sharing, she loves sharing her wins with her nephew. That's really yes, nice I love to that. share that with someone. Yes. And I like, I like doing that. Yeah. That's, that's brilliant. Share it with someone. And then who can I help? Who needs yes. my support? Who can I reach out to? And that yep. is another key. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. I really, I really like that. And it's something that's so easy to do, especially at the moment. We've everyone sat behind a computer or behind a screen. And it's like, they're probably, well, a lot, I'm not speaking for everyone, but there's a lot of people mm. that are quite unhappy, quite miserable and quite stuck. And yes. most of the time they just need someone to talk to or they need a friend. They need someone to just yeah. look out for them and just check they're okay. You know, mm. and it's as simple as just saying, hey, have you had a good day? 
that's it. That's it. You know, that's it. So what, yeah. It is very simple. And what that leads on to as well is taking your eyes off your own situation and yeah. then helping someone else. Because sometimes we can blow up our own situations. Look at me. Yeah. Woe is me. Look what's happened. And it's like, get a grip, you know. There's other people out there that need your support. Yeah. I am like, I'm just like, just get a grip. Um, true, there though. are other people exactly. that need your support and help. So reach out to somebody yeah. else and help them. And it's everything into alignment and perspective, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's, I mean, they, they are amazing tips, to be honest mm. with you. You gave me way more than I thought you would. So I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm sold. I'm sold. <laughs> Come and sit on my shoulder and tell me these things all day. <laughs> I don't know if you want to hear me in your ear like that. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> like, I don't know. I just don't know. Who knows? Um, right. Yeah. So how can people get in contact with you? That's a good question. That is a very good question. How can you get it? So I'm on Instagram. Um, I'm on Facebook. Uh, LinkedIn. And that's how you can get in touch. Or if you want to email me, uh, Tanya, T-A-R-N-Y-A, at I believe I can, co uk. You can get in touch with me that way. <laughs> Thank you. My website is um, I believe I can, co uk. So you can get in touch that way as well. So, Amazing. yeah, those are simple. So you can get in touch with me. Type my name and you'll see me. Yeah. Amazing. Brilliant. Well, I will put a link to your Instagram uh, on the video anyway. Uh, so people can just get in contact with you directly um, just make it super easy um, and encourage everyone to check out your website um, and buy your book obviously is it on Amazon or are they both on my Amazon? book are on Amazon yes open the okay, so got Amazon simple way to get motivated yeah it's on Amazon just type in it you'll find it yeah you can Amazing. see it right there so Get yourself on Amazon. Get one of the one of the two books or both the books. I think both the books. They're I very think both of them. If you want to get to know me a little bit more into my story yeah. as to why I do what I do, mm. then Open Doors is all about that. And then if you want some motivation, mindset yeah. shifts, paradigm shifts, you can get the second book. Yeah, mm. I think because they're so different, they'll complement each other well. To read yes. like with the first one, the second one, it'll just be a bit better way to do it. Yeah. So, so at the end of at the end of Open Doors, it has uh, twelve t keys of motivation. Yes. So then it's a continuation of a three six five. So you have got all year to get your mindset right. So yeah. So if you're not sold already, which you should be, go and buy the book. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there you go. The motivation book is awesome. So you've thank got you, Delphine. Um, yeah, she's watching. Yeah, there. Thank, you. thank you very much. Um, that's <laughs> yeah. brilliant. Awesome. Right. Well, I will no doubt speak to you very soon and put all the yes. links on to the live chat, and we will speak soon. Thank you so thank much you for being on. Much for having me. It's been amazing. <laughs> thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> See you later. Please take care. You too.